Well, even though Edmond has been able to pay for new schools like this one here, they say they still need help paying for the resources inside. As schools across the state struggle to find the funds for classroom supplies and equipment, Lori Dickinson with the Edmond Public School Foundation says Edmond is no exception. Well, I think there's a misperception that Edmond is a rich city with uh, rich schools. We have new buildings because we pass bonds, but uh, the bond money does not take care of what goes on inside a building. She says Edmond Public Schools has been cut $14 million over the last five years, and teachers are coming to them for help with paying for classroom supplies, as well as STEM equipment for after school projects. It's from everything. It's from, from crayons to markers to pencils to uh, specific books. She says they've received $400,000 worth of requests, and they've started their One Edmund campaign, asking business owners and residents to help them reach their goal. If we're not willing to invest in their education and their futures, then I don't think Oklahoma can ever achieve the lofty goals that we have for our state. And we did reach out to the Oklahoma City School Foundation as well. They say that over there, donations are actually up, but they could always use your help. For more information on that, go to our KOCO 5 News app. Reporting live in Edmond, Crystal Price, KOCO 5 News.